Hello guys, in today's tutorial we're going to fix a bug in the wall jump script and then also rework it so that I can show you one of the uses of what we did in the last tutorial. So this is what we ended up in the last tutorial and I'm just going to build here a wall. We can jump, we can wall, wall jump on. Like that, maybe we can wall jump on. Like so. And now I'm going to add to the player the wall jump script. Put it in here. And now let me show you what's happening. So it seems like it's working fine here. But for instance, I'm just jumping and pressing W. And let me change here the speed of this so that I can show you. As you can see, we can actually climb up with the player, and this is not supposed to be happening. And if I change this to something like 10, all seems like working, it's working fine. But if I do something like uh, uh, put this over here, and imagine that we have a collider that's like really long, and put here over this over here, and change that to 10. You can see that that happened where the player just slided off and we don't want that to happen and to fix this I'll just use the new script use the new outside force thing that we added in the last tutorial so first off let me explain to you the wall jump so what this is doing is on the update it's checking it's checking if this ray over here if this ray that's in red is hitting something if it is hitting something it means that the player can wall jump so you basically want to make it as small as possible so that only the player can only wall jump when it's near to a wall when it's close to a wall that's that so if the player is close to a wall and it's not on the ground and you just press the, the key to jump then this will send the player this will make the player jump, this will set the base speed, and this is what we're going to change now. And it will also rotate the player. And this is here is so that whenever the player hits the ground again, it will make him stop, but it's actually not needle, needed. So we're going to rework all of this. Uh, this here is just what shows us that line in the scene editor. Anyways, to rework this, I'm going to delete this over here and this and this and this. Oops. Okay, so right now, whenever we want to wall jump, so whenever we press the W key and we're not on the ground and we're close to a wall, then we want to make the active force uh, true in the script. So, uh, in, we already have a reference for it in here. We have here movement equals to player 0. So, just use movement dot outside force, make it equal to true. And if you don't know what outside force is, just see the last tutorial where they actually work with that. Anyways, with that done, that's all we have to do. And now the code will work much in a much simpler way. Hopefully, so right now, if I hit play, you'll see that if I got close to the wall, you see that sometimes this happens. And before, like it, like it, when it was like this, it wasn't happening. And of course, you can stay with this version; it works the same as well. I just wanted to show you what we could do with the outside force what's happening is that when we rotate the player what's happening is that we have the player like this and he is close to a wall and then we suddenly change the scale bam what happens is that because the player is not centered as you can see the player is not centered so right now it's not hitting a wall 
and now it is hitting a wall. It's a small bug, but it's not that doesn't matter that much. When the player rotates, it hits the wall without us wanting it created. So to do that, all we have to do is to delay this ro this rotation over here or this turning effect. So to do that, I'll just make a coroutine. So I'm going to start the coroutine here. Call it call turn it. And in that coroutine, so and now I'll make the coroutine I enumerator. Uh, turn it, and with that code there, and and to make the the coroutine wait, all you have to do is to yield return new, and now you have here ton of a ton of uh, wait. A ton of wait functions. I'm just going to use. You can use the wait for seconds, where it waits the amount of seconds that you want. Uh, I'm going to actually use this wait for fixed update, which is like, which basically waits 0.02 seconds, like so, and then it rotates the player. And now you'll see that it works, and that that bug that was happening where the player wouldn't stop sliding is not happening anymore. So that's it for today guys. Uh, I know that this was uh, like a little bit, a little uh, small, it was not that kind of needed, but I felt like doing doing it anyway because all of these small bugs. Anyways, thank you for watching and see you in the next time.